It may not look like much, but this is a powerful mini PC. For only $260, you can get your hands on this 6 core, 12 thread Ryzen 5 6600H system. And today we're going to be testing this mini PC in a couple of titles to see if this can really be a gaming PC for some people. I found this on Amazon for about $260 and it kind of piqued my interest because I've never used a mini PC, but I've seen lots of videos about them. And I wanted to see how these integrated graphics perform in a couple of games that I already play. There are many benefits of having a mini computer. There is obviously the size aspect and the portability aspect. There is a couple of main drawbacks as well, which is temperatures. As you're gonna see later in the video, temperatures are going to be very problematic for a computer like this because it is in such a small form factor. And they also try to keep it very quiet. If you were to put a smaller fan in here and turn the rpms up quite a bit kind of loud and whiny which they don't really want they want it to be sort of a quiet office desktop so yeah let's go over the specs we have one two three four usb 3.1s on the front and the back and then on top of that we do have two usb c ports one of them is actually for the 100 watt power brick that is included with this mini pc it also has dual two and a half gigabit lan so it is going to have some fast ethernet if that's something that you care about for me no matter what my wi-fi is just not that great so it doesn't really matter all that much we do have two hdmi outs i do have a little bit of a concern i feel like it's just actively stealing my information right now <laughs> these like super cheap mini pcs definitely seem like a little sketchy not the end of the world my information is probably all the way out there already but might as well get a pretty good deal on a mini pc while we're at it oh yeah and by the way let me go a little bit further into the specs we do have a ryzen 5 6600 h which has the 660 m gpu in it which should perform way better than some of the older vega graphics that ryzen did have back in the day next up we have a single stick of ddr5 4800 mega transfers per second ram which is going to be a little bit problematic as you guys know ddr5 it's less problematic to have one stick of ram but when you're running integrated graphics the bandwidth really matters and that single stick of ram is going to bottleneck it at least a little bit it is nice to know that there is another spot so you could always add another stick later and finally we have a 512 gigabyte ssd i think it is gen 3 so not super fast but also it is an m.2 so it's going to be way faster than an ssd a sata ssd or a hard drive that you would normally be using a couple other specs that are a little bit random it does have wi-fi 6 i tested out the wi-fi and and it was significantly slower than the ethernet so if i were you if you have the option i would just run the ethernet because that is going to be more consistent and a lot faster all right let's see how this performs in a couple of games how's it going guys it's parker here and today we're going to be playing star wars battlefront on this mini pc uh, I have it on 900p because I just know that this is going to be a little much for the computer. We have it on all low settings on 900p. So let's see how it performs. Dude, this game looks so good, even on 900p. All right, since we're not hitting 60, let's see if we can go down to 720p and we can hit 60. You cook, bro. Get me out of here. No, oh, get me out of here. I mean, that's the performance. I, I would say 720p, 60 FPS. I, I don't know if that's good or not. I I can't tell you if that's good or not. It's an old game, but it is a pretty intensive game. I will not lie. All right, guys, the next game that we're playing is Valorant, which we're going to be running at low settings, 1080p. This should be a very playable experience, even on a low end ish system like this. But the problem here is going to be temperatures. We're at 95 degrees. That is uh, a little too high for CPU. Was like accidental. Really, bro. I actually went positive, dude. That means they must have been horrible. I'm so bad at Valorant. 
it, it ran pretty well. I would say like it like these mini PCs, like if for Valorant to feel very, very smooth, you really want to hit like 144. All right, in our final game, we are going to be playing Fortnite and we're going to be running it at the performance mode settings, all low, trying to get as much performance out of the CPU as possible. Oh man, our CPU is just not liking this. 89 degrees. One of the main drawbacks to this system is the, the ventilation and the cooling is just not, it's not on par. You really don't need that much to cool a laptop CPU. I mean, these are pulling like, what, 30 watts? You really just need a little bit more cooling. Because even in the 70s, these things would run perfectly fine. But 90 degrees is just way too, way too hot. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my, that was way too close. God. I was like, when is this thing going to shoot? Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Had to do it. What happened to me? No, I hid. Oh, he died too. <laughs> Let me hit one. No. <laughs> I got a second, though. Well, that was Fortnite. It ran, honestly, way better than I thought it would, um, but still not to the level of, like, a custom-built gaming PC, but obviously, you know, we can't really compare the two. It's not the same at all. But yeah, I thought it performed pretty well overall. All in all, for $250, this mini PC is honestly pretty good. I would say the main and limiting factor is going to be the temperature and the RAM. But again, the RAM is something that you can always upgrade later on in the future. And then the temperature, that is something that is going to be a little bit more difficult. I didn't actually open up this computer, but I know on certain ones you can apply an aftermarket fan if you would like. Maybe this one has that feature. I do not know but at least one of those problems could be solved by upgrading the RAM. If you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure you like and subscribe down below. We are trying to get monetized. We are so close to being monetized so I can show you bigger and better content in the PC building slash PC gaming related field. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.